Freehand painting has always been something that catches my eye when I see one. Let's find out if I'm able to do this on a tentacle sale. Before we begin, let's take a moment to say that if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that like button and hit that notification bell. Let's begin! Assembling the tantalus was such a nightmare. I didn't want to record the process of me assembling everything and gluing everything because it was such a messy, messy process. I don't really like how resin works in general, especially forge wheel and this fail cast. I didn't want to really talk about it. Either way, I'm many many years too late to get into the reverse hype train of the fail cast movement. To start out with shading the sail, I put a mixture of the red leather model color and also a little bit of the basic skin tone. I wanted to use burn red but I find it a little too deep, almost blackish so I wanted to try with a slightly different lighter color and just in case I also added a bit of the mixture of basic skin tone just in case it gets a little too dark. I kinda like how the final result looks like. Here you can see that I tried to fix minor errors using the basic skin tone to cover up all these splurges and accidental splotches. So in this video, I try not to talk too much but rather show you the footage of what I did to attempt the freehand and sail painting of the Drukari Tantalus. Now that we are done with the backdrop of the sail, I started to do the basic outline of the freehanding part. I used the Gundam marker. I'm not really sure what size it is, but it's one of the thinnest marker size. And also, after doing the outlines, I started to base the layout of the freehanding part with the base of deep green model color. And also, for the brighter part, I start to mix a mixture of yellow green model color. Both are from Vallejo. I thin both of the mixture down with a mixture of just water and also airbrush flow improver just to make it a bit thinner and not too chunky, chalky, cloppy. I'm not sure what the exact word is. Anyway, for the first coat of the deep green, it's still a little bit too transparent and it looks like I can still see the brush strokes. After about 2 or 3 coats, it kind of still be a little bit transparent. So what I did was I used an airbrush to layer over it just to make it not as chalky and brush strokey as what it was before.
now we are basically almost done with the freehand and sail part what is left now is to do the outlines just to clean up everything and make sure it looks more like a sail and not like a canvas i think so what i did was use the incubi darkness as usual mix water and the airbrush flow improver just to make it a little bit more runny and use size 1 winter and newton brush and also the size 0 for the recesses just beside the sill so that there won't be too much obvious streak marks going along those lines and we are done this is such a very very short footage of my attempt at freehanding for the second time and here's the final result Alright guys, so again, what do you think of the final result? For me, I have just realized that my painting are quite very childlike, like an 11 year old student uh, drew on the canvas or something like that. So actually that kind of style of painting has been with me ever since I was a kid, like 7 years old, 8 years old. So that was my kind of style of painting that I have always gotten used to. I feel like taking a class on canvas painting with acrylic brushes and all that just to improve on my painting skills because I think I, if I learn acrylic painting on canvas I might be able to apply it on my miniature painting freehand style and I might improve a lot. Maybe I might take a course on Udemy or something. We'll see about that. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification icon. This has been Frosty. I'll see you next time.